Hello and welcome to another lesson of the TI30 XB student course. In this lesson today we're going to be looking at entering a set of values into our data editor and applying a really simple formula to those values. If I go into this button here that says data, what's going to happen is it's going to bring up something that looks a little bit like an Excel spreadsheet. Um, so we have three lists there, list one, list two and list three. And what these, this data editor lets us do is just to enter in sets of values. And then we can also do some formulas applied to those values. And we can also do a bit of an analysis of those values as well. Uh, that analysis component is going to be coming up in a later lesson. Okay, um, so you'll notice that there's already numbers entered into my list one and list two. Uh, so I want to start with a completely clear list. Um, so I want to get rid of those values and I want to do that all in one go. So I'm going to click on this button that says data again. That's just going to bring up another menu. Um, so to clear, we want to have this menu here that says clear highlighted. Um, and I could just go clear list one and then clear list two. But because I've got uh, values in more than one list, it's faster to use this function here, number four there, that says clear all. So I'm going to press enter on that. And you'll see that now I have completely clear lists. So the first set of values we're going to enter is x equals to negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so I'm going to start out with negative 2. Um, so I've got that first cell in my list 1 highlighted. And you can see it there. It says list 1 uh, bracket 1. So that means list 1 position 1, that's the first cell in list 1, equals... So all I have to do is enter that number. So the first one we're entering is negative 2. So making sure I'm using my negative sign, um, not my subtraction. I enter negative 2 and then I press the enter key. And you can see that appears there on the screen. Next one, this is L1 bracket 2, so list 1 position 2. Um, and we're now entering in negative 1. And then the next number was 0, 1, 2, uh, and say, for example, um, I accidentally pressed 6 and not 3 on that last value and pressed enter. Um, now to edit that, I can scroll up so that, that 6 is highlighted and then delete that using the delete key. You can see then that that's now gone and then I can enter in my 3. Okay, next skill we're going to look at doing is just applying a really simple formula to this set of values. So the formula we're going to apply so we want to subtract 5 from each of these numbers. Um, now we obviously could do that manually and just enter them into the list too. But if I wanted to use a formula, I can use my arrow key to tab across into my list too. Then I can go onto that data key again. Now instead of looking at clearing my list, I want to put in a formula. So I'm again going to use the arrow key just to tab across. So I've got that formula menu highlighted. And then I'm going to go to add editing a formula. So pressing enter on number one. Um, and now you see it comes up, it says list two equals, and it's got this kind of cross next to it. That means it's referring to the whole of list two. So everything we put in here is going to be applied to all of list two. Now I'm going to press on my data key again. And I want to be subtracting five from each of those numbers in list one. So I'm, now it comes up when I press that data key again. I've got each of my lists here, and you can kind of almost think about them as being a variable. Okay, so that list one, anything in list that I have in list one, I'm going to have that, and I'm going to subtract five from it. Okay, so L1 minus five. I'm going to press enter, and there you can see that in my list two, one position is negative seven. So that's the value that's in list one, which is negative two minus five to give me negative seven negative 1 minus 5 to give me negative 6 in my position 2. And if I keep scrolling down, that continues on all the way until that last value uh, in my list 1. Okay, to clear that formula um, and to change it, I need to go back into that data menu again, and I need to go back across to formula, and then I want to clear my list 2 formula. So I'm going to go down to number 3, clear list 2 formula, Go enter, um, and then I can delete or clear the values in my list too if I would like. Last thing we need to look at quickly doing is just getting out of my data editor. So to do that, I go second, and then the mode button to quit, and that brings me back to my 
main calculation screen. Okay, thank you so much for listening. Now that's it for this lesson.